Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us share this video together. Today the, our topic is something the Muslims always they come and they try to make a mockery of us and what we believe. And remember Islam is a mockery. Islam is nothing but a mockery. And today I'm going to show you an example of the lies, the hypocrisy, the stupidity of those who defend Islam. I will bring you supposedly what the Muslims they claim they copy each other you know all of them they copy each other in the front of me there's Didat and Didat supposedly uh, you know he is the first mockery person and that's why some of you Christians they say to me why you use the same method with the Muslims because this is the language they understand I'm not using mockery actually I'm just using their method to show them their stupidity and today we will do the same, as always. Here the dad is answering about Trinity. So look what he said. The Holy Ghost in Christendom is that he is one in a Trinity. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues, your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagger says in his book. Person, person, person. But not three person, but one person. I'm asking... Stupid liar. He did not say not three person. See? Here the mockery start. Not a three person, but one person. We say three person, one God. A second ago you said, he's a murder, the Son is a person, the, God, the Father is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person, and now you are saying they are not one person, you just said he's one God. Here how the mockery work, and the Muslims right away, they start laughing, ha 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 ha, because he just said something supposedly funny. But he just lied. This is not what we believe. Because you are inserting the word person when you speak about God, the one God. The person here in Arabic, we say Abnu, which means the present of God, the existence of God. God is exist as a spirit. God is exist as Father in heaven. Spirit is with us right now, everywhere. God is exist by the flesh as God. He came to us in the man, as a, in, the, in, the, in the form of a man. So, if you are saying that that is impossible, you are saying God cannot be God too. If you are making mockery, how that can be, that means how God can be God. Do you notice how stupid the logic? Are you saying this is a stupid? Impossible? So why you call God Almighty? We call Him Almighty for He is God. He can do everything. Do you see the stupidity of the logic? The Muslims actually, they are cursing their God, saying their God cannot be three, yet he is one. That is impossible for God to be. Their God is a potato. The dad is announcing to you, we have a fluffy God. He is a fluffy puppy. He cannot be three and one. He is one fluffy puppy. Well, are we talking about God or about me and you, what we can, what we cannot? Do you understand, guys? How the Muslims actually, they made us believe now that their God cannot be true God. Why? Because he cannot be three and one in the same time. It is impossible for him. It is not logical. What is logical about God? How? Okay, what well, is it logical that just to show you the Muslims about how, how how hypocrite they are? Is it logical that Jesus is the son of Mary and he have no father? Yes, it's logical, brother. Well, that is logical. How you can be a son without father? Have you ever heard of? Have you heard of one? Do you see the hypocrisy? Have you ever, Jesus is not God. Okay, but Jesus have no father. Well, Adam have no father, you stupid. Adam is not born. You, 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 you. When I say the word donkey, I'm insulting donkeys. Was Adam born of a woman to have a father anyway? I mean, even with the Quran says, Jesus is the same as Adam is a stupid example. Because in the Quran says how Adam was created. Adam was not created by saying being he was. 
If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find uh, Abdul Ali, we will answer you. Anyone who says kissing the cross is not pagan is stupid. So why you kiss a black stone? First of all, show me where Jesus says go and kiss the, the, the cross. Guys, here we go. Just to show you how Muslims, they expose themselves. Where Jesus says, go and kiss a cross. Is that in the Bible? Is that the teaching of Christ? Is that people, they do things. But this is not God teaching. But it's your prophet who kiss a stone and lick it. And the stone is in the shape of a vagina. So you are saying to me, it's a stupid the one to kiss a cross and he is not pagan. We will go with you. Pagan is the one who kiss items. Do you? Did your prophet kiss items and he kiss a black stone and he claimed that this is the right hand of Allah? This is how we spank them. With no mercy. So what you notice right away that Muslims are a bunch of hypocrites when they defend the religion. They apply form on you. If you kiss a cross, you are pagan. But when they kiss the black stone, and it is a stone, at least if a Christian, he kissed a cross because Jesus, he died in the cross, it's St. Paul for him. You kiss the black stone for what? <laughs> when I say stupidity is amazing, I'm talking about Islam specifically. The second you are a, a, a believer in this garbage, you start applying form on others, you don't apply it in yourself. So, if you ask Abdul Ali now, why your prophet, he kissed the black stone, he will say to you, actually, I saw your text before I go live. You said it's from Allah, it's a gift, so you kiss it. What if Allah, he sent you a donkey? My donkey, it's your gift from Allah. You are a holy donkey. <laughs> <laughs> this religion is hilarious so if we go to the quran you will see the 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 the, uh, the god of islam muhammad he said that the similarity between isa and adam is the same allah he said to them be and they were what this is really what happened are you are you thor muhammad the darbur are you thor this is the similarity. Where do you get this from? The similarity in between, uh, you know, uh, read this and laugh. The similarity between Adam or Jesus before Allah is the same as Adam. He created him from dust and he said to him, be and he was. Is that how Allah created Adam? If we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find the following. I'm trying to make the video shorter, but mission is impossible. All right. This is how Allah, he created Adam according to him. Well, he said, B. Do you see any B in the in the in the process? The angel they said to him, "Are you going to create somebody from mud and show and make him a, 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 a molded shape?" So Allah He did the statues, and then when we fashioned him, then we breathed into him. Where Allah He said, "B," and He was. So the Quran is a chain of stupidity, a book of contradiction. This is a chapter 3, verse number 59. And this is a chapter 15, verse number 29. They are totally contradict each other. Right? Somebody saying I am embarrassing myself. I will open my Skype soon for the, for the brave one of you to see who is going to embarrass who. Just wait. We have more to come. Let us see when I open my Skype how many brave of you is going to refute what I said. So the that is making mockery about how God can be three and how he can be one. Well, how God can be God anyway? 
Why he is God? Why we call him God? Why we call him Almighty? One of the description of Allah is Al Qadir. What does that mean? The able. Is Allah able to be one? No. He cannot be one. Why the Quran says, if we want to take a partner, we will take it from ourselves. How he can be one and he take partner from ourselves? And then the that he says, when you speak about God, you attribute to him in your imaginary a shape of a man. Listen carefully. In what language are you speaking? Yeah, in which language you are speaking? Language of God. In which language you speak when you say to me that Jesus is a son of Mary and she have no man? In which language you speak to me when you say Muhammad, he went to the seven galaxy in the top of a flying donkey? In which language you speak to me when you say Allah is one, but yet he have different shape? As Muhammad is in the hadith, Allah, he will change his shape. Why he is one, but he changed his shape? He was, he's playing hide and seek. How Allah is one, but he was a fire in the tree for Moses. How Allah is one, but the Quran is not created. I'm asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish, it's not English. Yeah, gibberish is the book, it's called Quran. It says in the Quran, nobody understand what Allah says, save Allah. Have you ever heard of a book sent to mankind? And this book saying that there's a huge part of the Quran, nobody knows what it's mean, save Allah. This is gibberish. Look who's talking. And the funny did that, by the way, he don't speak one Arabic word. You can go and see his video, you know, when he was speaking, an Arab guy, he was translating, he was saying, I don't speak Arabic. <laughs> you are talking about gibberish? You are talking about gibberish. This is gibberish. And the Quran confirmed that because Muhammad the thief, he was stealing somebody, somebody else's book. He could not explain his own Quran. So he said those verses in the Quran, nobody knows what means save Allah. That is gibberish. And those who they are firmly grounded in knowledge, they say we believe without knowing what they mean. Have you ever heard of a firmly knowledge people, they confirm without knowing? But none, no one knows its hiding meaning except Allah. Do you see it? This is gibberish. And the Quran says clearly, this is gibberish. None. Do you see the word none? And the funny, the Muslim, they say, no, we understand the Quran, brother. Eh? So the Quran lying. Even Muhammad, he do not know what the Quran is saying. None. And this guy talking about gibberish. And then, did that he continue with his hilarious stupidity, making us today laugh. By the way, this is the same guy he said in debate. Do you remember the Bible? The Bible says that God, he created the light in Wednesday, the sun in Wednesday. So the earth was without sun for four days. <laughs> How stupid is that? In which language you are talking to me? But this is what his prophet said exactly. Go and see. I made a video about it, actually. This guy is a scam. And the Muslim, they copy paste. Their prophet, he said exactly, this is why he did that, he don't debate, he debate only one time in Arab, and after that, the second debate, he ran away. This is what your prophet said. And this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Allah, he created the sun, the light in Wednesday. When in the Bible, actually, the first thing God created, it was the light. It is in Islam that there was no light totally. In the Bible says God he created the sun. After he created the light, the first thing he created, he said, let me light, and light was. But look here, the stupid did that was making fun of the Bible saying that the sun created in Wednesday, but his prophet is copying exactly what it says there, but he missed the point by saying the light, it was not the light created in Wednesday, it was the sun. 
And the funny, the Muslims, if you ask them, they say, in Islam, brother, sit up. We don't believe that Allah created the earth in six days. Six days means six periods. So it's millions of years. You, you idiot, your prophet says Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Suddenly, Saturday is millions of years. Sunday is millions of years. Monday is a millions of years. Do you see the hypocrisy? Oh, I'm losing my internet. I hope not. Actually, this is the reason I was late because my internet is not doing good. I hope we will not lose it. So here you see that when we speak to Muslims, they are lying about what they believe. They don't defend by telling the truth about their belief. They defend by making mockery about your belief. If we go back to Zakir so to Adidat, uh, we will see he's saying this. Continue, Adidat. You see, he said person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, brother Swagat. You we don't say person, 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 not three person, one person. We say three person, one God. You see how he lie? You see how the mockery work? When we say water, 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 but we say ice, liquid, and steam is one. When we say the sun, the heat of the sun, the light of the sun is the sun. In which language you are talking, Christian friends? The language you should understand, you idiot. The sun without heat is not the sun. The sun without light is not the sun. It's a planet. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Jesus says, I will go and I will leave the spirit with you. When the sun comes to us, the sun is not arriving really from its place. The sun is a star is there. What we receive is the light. When the light arrives, we feel the heat. It's something we feel we don't see. This is the Holy Spirit. So how it's possible even for a star to be three and one in the same time, but it's not impossible. It's not imp it's impossible for God to be three and one in the same time. And you will notice, you know, this is why when you want to debate a, a Muslim, don't go if there is a crowd, all of them are Muslims, because they would do mockery. <laughs> you have just made a mockery of yourself. My God, he can be three and one in the same time. You are saying to me it's impossible because you are not talking about God. For God is nothing impossible. For my God is almighty God. Your God cannot be God. Look what your God, he said about himself in the stupid Quran. How Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? He did not even use the word wife. Can you believe it? How Allah can has a son or have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Because this is Allah, my God, he can have a son without having a girlfriend. Read this verse so we can understand the nature and the capability of Allah. Allah is a potato, is a phrase, is a word, is not exist. Read carefully. To him is due the primal origin of the heaven and the earth. How can he have a son when he has no concert? You see, it's not me who's saying that, the Quran. Were you stupid? So how Jesus can be the son of a woman she have no boyfriend? In one side, Muhammad the fool, he stole a story from the gospel that Jesus is a son of Mary, she, his mother is a virgin. And God made her have a son without a boyfriend or husband. Yet Allah, and he is the God, he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. So my God, he can, your God cannot. So we are not questioning really if God can be one or three. We question the ability at the same time. Your God cannot. Can my God have a son without having a girlfriend? Yes, he can. The proof in the Quran. Jesus, the son of Mary, in the Quran, is a son of a virgin.
So you cannot deny that. You see, and this is why, by the way, the Muslims, they don't make fun of you Christians, because have you ever heard of a Muslim saying, hey, hey, Christian, you stupid. Do you believe really that Jesus is son of Mary without a man, you stupid people? But you don't, they don't say that. Why? Because the Quran confirmed that. Just because Muhammad, he says that, suddenly it's logical. Nobody want to debate it. Nobody want to refuse it. Nobody want to question it. Just because Muhammad says so. Do you see the hypocrisy of the hypocrite cult? You will never find a Muslim asking you why Jesus have no father. Just because Muhammad, he said so. If Muhammad, he said that Jesus is a son of God, Muslim, they will say, yeah, this is true. Hypocrites. If you are questioning how that can be, then you question how this is can be too. Then you question how Jesus until now is alive. Can you? No, they will not question. They will say God is able to do anything. So how God can be able to do anything, but he cannot have a son? No, he cannot. The Quran says, how can he? You see, it is your Muslim translation. It's your Muslim word. It says, how can he? What can mean? how he can be able to do so. It's in the front of you. We go back to the that because we have a we have a movie. All identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? Well, in Islam, yes. The Quran says, free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women. So if I kill a slave of somebody, you kill my slave. <laughs> Look who's talking. You see, this is why they don't debate us. They, they, they run away from us. They debate people who do not know anything about Islam so we can get them busted. Is it your Quran says, free for a free, Slave for a slave, women for the women, in the case of murder. And we can go right now to the interpretation, and you will see it says, if a free man kill a slave, a free man will not be killed. A slave of the other man will be killed. Hmm? So the one who commit the murder will not be killed. But his slave will be killed? The Muslim, they will say to you, brother, this is abrogated. This is additional proof that Allah is a fraud. Muhammad, he made this verse. People, they start laughing at his justice. So he abrogated. How you abrogate a murder justice? What, Allah, he found that he is wrong? Allah went to bed or to the bathroom and he come with the result. He said, what an idiot I am. How I will do it. I will do that. How I say that. I should change it. Let me change it. Let me change it. Let me delete it. Free for the free, slave for the slave, woman for the women. So if I kill your, uh, if you kill my wife, I go and kill your wife, or I kill, or I kill the guy who killed my wife. Skip it, donkey. Chapter two, verse one seventy-eight. The Muslim they will say doesn't say that CP. You know them. But guess what? We have their own books. They cannot run away from this. It doesn't say that, see, Habibi. Habibi. It doesn't say that, see, P. <laughs> Read with me carefully. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is not a Christian prince saying, Christian prince is lying to you. It doesn't say that, see, P. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. <clears throat> All right, it's obligatory for you in the relation that the equality of the regarding slain, both attribute one is slain and the other is ruler. Okay, a free man is killed for a free man, not for a slave. People, do you see it? Shall I zoom in? Huh. Let us zoom in because it's too part of the. A free man is killed. For a free man, not for a slave. So the dad was making fun. If somebody kills somebody, we we kill the one who the other person. 
Yes, in Islam you do. Coward, liar. We continue with the that who was for many years muted. He cannot even open his mouth. You say no. No, in Islam you say yes. I'm asking why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I said right. I say right. I say right. So why Allah he said, Allah Prophet said that in the judgment day, Allah will bring the Muslims and they have mountains of sin in the top of them. He placed it in the Christians. Right. You see the liars? They are preaching something have nothing to do with Islam. Just to win an argument by a mockery. But by doing that, today we are laughing at them and showing you with evidence and proof that they are a fraud. What makes him different? His personality. So His personality is different. His personality. Uh, you want to talk about personality? Here we go. We just showed you God. He says something in the morning. He changed his mind after noon. What kind of personality is that? Just let me show you this. Oh. <laughs> in chapter 2 the same chapter actually we are reading from now chapter 2 106 it says none of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something better or similar have you ever heard of a donkey speaking better than this something similar better Allah will make better Quran than the Quran. Allah will make better order than his order. Allah is competing with Allah. What kind of personality he have? How you say Allah is one person, but yet he make wrong decision and he decide to fix his decision by making something better or similar. And what make it more stupid when he say similar. What the heck? Brother, I'm going to burn your car and I will give you a similar car. So why you are burning my car? Because I want to give you a similar car. What? Brother, I'm going to destroy your wife and I will give you the same wife. Huh? Brother, I'm going to burn your house, three bedroom, one bathroom, and I will give you a house, three bedroom, one bathroom, the exact same design. What? What's wrong with the personality of Allah? Something better or similar? Here Muhammad, because he is a fraud, he cannot repeat the same verse twice. And he keeps changing his mind. Or he forget what he says. And look, the Quran says, We cause none of our revelation. We do abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Like what? So you send revelation and you cause it to be forgotten. But the Muslims they say, we have the Quran never heard for that. The Quran saying we cause it to be forgotten. Why Allah He sent revelation and He caused it to be forgotten? Is that because a shameful, stupid idiot? But if we go and read the interpretation for this verse, things will get more horrible. Shall we go there? See, I said to myself today, I will make just 20 minutes uh, talking. I will talk a quarter from Muslim and that I have to go. But look, here we go. I mean, it's impossible. I hate it. Chapter 2, 106. The same chapter. Okay? Hmm. Let us laugh together. Muhammad, he says something at night. He changed his mind in the morning. This is Muhammad. Hmm. Read carefully, guys. Read carefully. This is Muslim books. This is not the Jews. This is not the Hindus. This is not the Christians. This is their biggest imams and sheikh, Tafsir Jalalain. When the disbelievers began to deer the matter of abrogation saying huh, that one day Muhammad he enjoyed his companion to one thing and then the next day he forbid it. <laughs> oh. 
it took him less than 12 hours to forbid what he said less than 12 hours he said it afternoon he changed his mind in the morning the dad is saying what kind of personality you have Will you tell me what is the personality of your God? There's many names for those illness. The person he thinks he is two people, so he wanna correct himself. There's a movie, it's called The Perfect Host. The guy, he sent letters to himself. And then he answered himself. And then he have sex with himself. And then he invite people and he talk to them. But there is nobody there. That is Allah. Do you see how easy to get this done busted? I mean, how easy it is. Ask yourself a very simple question. What kind of God? He says something afternoon, he changed it in the morning. Like in the case of murder. I mean, it's case of murder. It should be fit for every time. Murder is a murder. How that can be? You change it in the morning because people, they complain that this is stupid. So you decide, oh, this is stupid. I need to change it. Or he's a fraud. So Muhammad is a fraud and there's no question about that. And those who defend him, they are defending the fraud. This is why we are laughing at them, actually, because they are defending the fraud. How you can defend the fraud? Here we go. You look like a fool. And then the dad, he say, Brother, when you talk like this about God, you imagine a human being. Words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the Father, you have a certain mental picture of that old Father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving Father in heaven. Did he say foot stone? Did he say sitting in a chair? Did he say all those are in the Quran? All of those is in the Quran. He is saying that you as a Christian, if you believe in this, you are imagining Santa Claus. But all those are in the Quran. And guess I have here, actually I was just searching for a video about, uh, uh, you know, uh, Allah have hands. And I found a very uh, funny video from a, uh, a girl, her name is Fifi. Uh, um, what was the word? Or literal. Now, the term, uh, Again, what do what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah, all right? The hand Allah of Allah. Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, no, both his hands are extended. Subhan. Both, both. Both, both Allah, both brother, both Allah have two hands. But the dad is saying, this is funny. You are imagining a human being then. And what make it more funny when David Wood he asked Mimi Hijab, Allah have body part. Do you know remember what Mimi Hijab he said? Who said so? Do you remember? Who said so? Did they say who said so? Who said so? Fifi said so. Did you hear him? Who's, who said so? I'm not sure which part of the video he says who said so. Let us see. Yeah, biological, they had a discussion about biological. Really and truly, how can you have a begotten son? There's only three options. Number one, biology. Number two, adoption. And number three, metaphor. And if you say it's not biology and it's not adoption, it must be a metaphor. So Jesus is not a son of God. Huh? See? There's only three ways to have a son. Biology, metaphor, adoption. But he solved it. So how Mary she got her son by biology? Do you see the stupid? How the Quran says that Mary she have a son without biology? Did she adopted son? Is Isa the adopted son of Mary? Denied 
that the Quran saying there is other way. He said there's only three ways. Adoption, biology, metaphor. So what is this? What is this, you idiot donkey? Coward, liar. Chapter 3, verse number 47. Oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? Mr. Biology, are you there? So when those people, they answer by mockery, the mockery is to avoid the truth. Did you notice? Their mockery is to avoid the truth. Guys, I have to turn the fan, really. The, my, my room is really burning, even though we have a snowstorm is coming from the, the galaxy. So uh, forgive me, please. If you hear like a little bit uh, bad, bad, you know, background noise. <laughs> How that can be? So Jesus is a bit, son is a metaphor. metaphor. <laughs> so you Muslim from now on, based on Mimi Hijab, Jesus, the son of Mary, is not real, her, her real son. He's a metaphor because there's only three ways to call somebody a son. Biology, adoption, metaphor. Which one of them is Isa? Do you see how we expose those cowards? And they were, were making mockery of David Wood because he's a nice person. Can you do make mockery of me? They try actually, in the, what they, they, they call me, remember? Five seconds talking, yet I got them busted. Three way brother, to have a son. Biology, adoption, metaphor. Isa was what? They have no answer. Cowards. The Muta Corporation. Oh. And look, the Muslim, hey, 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 hello, Akbar, hey. <laughs> he just said that the Quran is lying. And the Muslim, like, yeah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. He just said that Mary, she cannot have son unless it's biology or metaphor or adoption. This is what we say. And you will say, hey, Allahu Akbar, it could be, take a, take a beer. A bunch of a drunk nation. Okay. And then he says that the prophets, they, they played, you know, they tried to get his hair and the spit and these things. Okay, well, if you think spitting on someone makes you a god, well, that's what it implies. And I wonder why you look at every other verse of the Bible as implying that Jesus was God. Because for you, a spit, that's, that's making me a god now. You see the mockery? He's asking you why you are collecting the spit of Muhammad, put it in your face. He's not asking you the spit making you a god, that's asking you. Why you do an act of worship for a spit? This isn't the question. So he answered by mockery. Did if you think if a spit make me God, he's not asking you about that, you coward. He's asking you why you are wiping your hands with the spit of Muhammad over your face. You see, in order to avoid to answer the question, they come with the mockery and there's no answer. <laughs> Actually, there's a brother, he made a, made a song. If somebody know it, I will play it. Anyone have the song? Uh, what's his name, Roger? He made a, he made a, a song about the spit of uh, Mimi Hijab. If somebody had the link from the admin post for me, I will put it there. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Fake love. <laughs> the chicken giving eggs. Don't embarrass yourself in front of me. Don't embarrass yourself in front of me. Assalamu alaikum. He said this means that he's interceding because it's a narrative voice. Assalamu alaikum. I want to go to the uh, part where he say, hold on. What he say that uh, he said, Allah have a part. I want to go to that part. Allah have a part. Hold on. He's omnipresent. Let's, let's have fun with him today. There is a hadith in Bukhari which says that whenever one person does salah on the Nabi, which means blessings and pr praise on the, the, the Prophet, blessings on the Prophet, the angel will carry that and give it to him. It doesn't mean that he's hearing it everywhere. The angel is moving it around. The, uh, the, answer, is, the answer will give it, but the guy is dead. 
<laughs> Doesn't mean that he's everywhere. For sure, he is not. He's in the grave. He is lying. So, uh, brother, the angels will carry, the angels will carry to him. Why they are carrying to him? Is God? Look, he tried to fix it. He make it more blind. Shouldn't you send the prayer to the God, and then God review the prayer and He do what He need to do? No, they send it to Muhammad. We just heard this donkey saying that the angels, they carry your prayer Muslims to Muhammad. And by the way, the hadith says, different story. This guy again is a fraud, like he's a prophet. Where it says the angels? Hmm? This is the hadith. Anyone see the word angels? Hmm? And since when the word salah means a prayer? Means sorry, mean a blessing. Liars. Among the most excellent of your days is a Friday. So invoke your prayer, not blessing, on me on that day. For your prayer will be submitted to me. Why is God? Prayers submit only to God, not to a man, unless he is God. The companion, they said, how can our prayer submit it to you when your body has, be, has decayed? This is after death. He says, Allah has forbidden the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. And then we find the stories written by Muslims that when Muhammad he died, the Muslim did not bury him for three days. Because Muhammad, he said that, that his bodies will not be decayed. So they thought to themselves, why would I bury him? Leave him outside forever. Hmm? Why would we bury him? And then his body, his belly, start floating out with gas and he start farting. And then Ibn Abbas, he said, Itfinu sahibakum faqad antan. Bury your, your, your friend, he is stinky. And the hadith says that his nails became a green and blue and they crunched on each other. And he stink. And the Muslim says, Khalid, you are waiting? No problem, Khalid. Let us see how good you are just when we open sky. Wait, my friend. So, this guy, he said, I'm just trying to find where he say, Allah has body part. This is from the will of Allah. And if you didn't know that, now you do. Now you do. <laughs> he says that Kalimatullah, the Isa being referred to as the word of Allah, must mean that he is divine. So uh, although the Quran says clearly that he's not divine, no, it makes a mistake. He is divine. Well, it, you're all over the place. You're fumbling all over the place. Yeah, you know, well, isn't it your Muslims you believe? That the Quran is not created, and isn't it the word of Allah? Islam, questions and answer. Fatwa number 227441. Quran is the word Allah of Allah. Maybe he exalted and is not created. So if the Quran is not created by Allah, that means the Quran is divine and his word is divine. So how it is his word anyway, if not created by him? How we can link the word which is the Quran to Allah if he is no one, not the one who created those words? And if they are not created, who created the Quran? You say nobody. That means the Quran is divine. The word of God is divine. It is you who is all over the place. This is a stupid religion. Nothing makes sense in it. I want to move where he says, still I will try, I'm, I'm trying to find where he says, <laughs> ah, Hold on, hold on. We answer this one. He says, Adam is the same as Jesus. Uh, uh, Allah, he created him from mud and he said to him, be, uh, uh, and he was. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna mathala Isa عند الله, عند الله كمثل آدم خلقه من ترابن ثم قال له كن كن
Fayakun, Kun Fayakun. Where we can find that in the Quran that Allah created Adam by saying Kun Fayakun? Isn't it the Quran says that Allah He created Adam in His steps? Chapter fifteen, verse number twenty-one. He made mud, sounding mud. Then He fashioned him. Then He breathed into him. This is Kun Fayakun, be and He was. So now, if I go to the kitchen. I break an egg, I mix the egg, I add salt, I put some oil in the fryer, turn the oven, cook the egg, and then we have cooked egg. This is B and was? This is how B and was was? <laughs> Fayakun! So he said to him, B and he was, where? Here we go. He breathed into him. He did not say, B, you, you, you coward. So this is contradiction in the Quran. Secondly, Jesus is not from the mud. The same thing about Jesus in the Quran. Allah, he breathed into Mary. This is the verse he's quoting. Private part, filthy God. He did not say be, and he was. Is that the Quran or this is my own fiction? And Mary, the daughter of Umran, the one who did not, this is a guarded her chastity, doesn't say that. Muhammad is a filthy man. He says, the one who guarded her vagina. I'm trying to be, you know, I mean, nicer to say vagina. It's actually to say the word P. And, and we breathe into her, into her, or into he, the vagina. You see in Arabic it says, فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ not Fiha, fihi, what? Her vagina. So where Jesus was created by being, he was. Anyone see it? That's again a lie and contradiction. Muhammad, he could not refute the Christians about who is Jesus, so he come with a stupid answer. And you are just now copying, pasting the same as did that. Five minutes left. He said to him, be, and he was. The word is defined in the Quran as uh -huh. be. be. So Allah says be, and things are... And actually, this might change to the Muslim. Find one thing Allah created by saying be. We just showed you how Jesus was created, according to Islam. Allah, he breathed into Mary vagina. And we showed you how Adam was created. Allah, he sound the clay, fashion it, and then he breathed in it. So where we can find Allah creating by be? It's a lie. Even Adam, when Allah was creating him, according to the hadith of Muhammad, Adam, he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset. If you go in the Quran, you will see what it says. insan wa insan Chapter 17, verse number 11. If you go and read the interpretation, you will see that Adam, he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. Where is B? B and he was? We can go right now to, to uh, Ibn Kathir. 17, 11. Oh, we go. B and he was. Brother, he said to him, B and he was, brother. Okay, let's see if this is true. This is Ibn Kathir, this is not me. Remember. وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولَ And the man is ever hasty. Salman al-Farisi, who is a companion of Muhammad, and Ibn Abbas, which is the cousin of Muhammad, mentioned the story of Adam when he was wanted to get up before his soul reached to his feet. <laughs> you Adam, you stupid, you are trying to stand up and the battery not charged yet? <laughs> When his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. And when it reached his brain, he sneezed, Hachu, Hachu. And he said, Alhamdulillah. Adam, he said, Alhamdulillah, brother. The guy is not even created yet. I mean, he is not in the process. And he's, he speaks Arabic. Arabic wasn't exist. Alhamdulillah. He sneezed, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> 
Praise be to Allah. <laughs> and Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. <laughs> what a cartoon. I love cartoons since I was a kid. <laughs> since then I love it. Still I love it. When he reached his, his eyes, he opened them. And when he treated his body and limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder. Like, what? I have feet now? Uh oh What is that? Feet? Toes? This is toes. Oh, this is nose. Ah, oh, this is finger. Oh, don't give a finger. Allah is angry. Okay, so he wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but it, he could not. So he said, Oh Lord, make it happen before the night come. You idiot. You idiot, Muhammad. How Adam he knew that there's a night will come. The guy is not even created yet. And why they are saying to us, Allah, he say, be and he was. The guy is worried. Allah, he don't have a flashlight. How you can fix it before the night? Finish it before the night come. I mean, the story must be true. We have to admit, this is a true story from a true prophet, from a true God, from a true book. Everything there is a true. You want to make a mockery on us? A bunch of idiot? I mean, where I can find the part where this guy, he said, Allah have body, part. Uh, planetary things in Arabia and these things, I mean, how can you make a, a judgment? First of all, I haven't got a reference for that. I didn't see a reference, he didn't say yes. Hold on, let me, I, I'm just, I, I want that part because this is one, one of the most funny parts. If this is the case, then... Who said so? We don't want to add it later. Where he said, Allah here has, has a part. Who said so? Is that here? Is that here? Let's see. You know what? I don't know. Maybe I should give the, the video to somebody and he, uh, and he uh, check for us. But anyway, you can add it later. He said, you said Allah has a part. Who said so? Well, Fifi said so. Fifi, he said, are you going to make us kuffar? Believe we are kuffar, sheikh, because we believe in what the Quran say, that Allah have two hands. And he said, those are literally. Allah responds, no, both his hands are extended. Both, both. Guys, let me do this. I want one of you to check for me in this video, which which minute? Well, oh, hold on. Which minute? Mimi Hijab. He said, Allah has, but the part who said so. All right. My God has hands. My God, he came as a human. So in the Quran, we've got Allah <laughs> swearing. My God, he came as a human. So what? <laughs> but you Muslim, you say your God is, uh, is, uh, is not like anyone, but he have two hands. And not only that, to make it more funny, somebody please check for me the video. Find me where he says in that video, in which minute, that uh, uh, Allah has hands. Who said so? Find me that part so we can play it. Somebody help, please. Uh, li listen. Your God in the Quran say, he have hands, he have foot, he have face, he have a shin. But what the Quran doesn't say, that the hands of Allah, both of them, they are right hands. And this is what Fifi in this video was saying, that Allah have two hands. Both Allah hands are right hands. Uh -huh. Allah hands are both right hands. I like that. Is that a defect? And both Allah and his both hands of his hands are right hands. Do you see it? 
But Mimi in the video he says, David Wood he says, Allah have body parts. Who said so? How come Fifi is answering the Shia Sheikh, saying to him, we have God who have two hands, but Mimi, he denied that Allah have body parts. Is Mimi, they don't believe in the same religion of Fifi? Obviously they don't. Fifi is a Sunni, Mimi, obviously he's a Shia. Minute 2.3, okay, thank you for the help. Okay guys, somebody found it in minute 2.3. Um, 146, oh, so I missed it from the beginning, huh? Okay, that's my fault then. <clears throat> All right, let's see, uh, 140. <clears throat> Listen to this. Listen to this coward, liar, fabricator. The one who he claimed he can debate us, but he don't dare to call us. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hate, speak salah. Come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass yourself. Elijah is mean God, is, God with us. You don't know Hebrew, you don't know Arabic. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? <laughs> Which Muslim scholar? <laughs> Which Muslim scholar? I will give you one. Farid? Farid is a scholar. He saw 100 lives of a Christian prince. Is Farid as a scholar or not? I mean, all this beard growing, but still he's a little girl. Is he a scholar or not? Which scholar? I will give you the biggest scholar in the world. Her name is Fifi. Fifi, Fifi, how are you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Me, 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 contradict you. Both of you are barbecue. She, me, she, me, 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 fi, 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 shame on you. This is me, me, fi, fi. Saying yes, Allah have two hands. Listen carefully. Which one of you is lying? They say rather both his hands are extended. Okay. Now, what's interesting about this um, we were speaking about metaphorical versus, um, you know, um, apparent or uh, um, what, what was the word? Uh, 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 what the word is looking for a word. Is a physical, metaphorical or physical? There's a third option, either biological or adoption <laughs> or metaphor <laughs> or literal. Or literal. Now the term yadahu. Uh, Again, what do what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah. All right, the Allah hand of Allah. Allah. Specifically, they say the hand. The Muslim Sunni he says, "Allahu Akbar." When you say the hand of Allah, right away, oh, the hand of Allah, Allahu Akbar. And Fifi says specifically, specifically. The hand of Allah. All right, the Allah hand Allah of Allah. Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, "No, both." His hands are extended. Both, both. What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that that you know that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. See, the Muslim Fifi, he accepts that Allah has two hands. He's saying to the Sheikh. You cannot accept, you know, the, the Shia Sheikh. You cannot say we are Mishrikeen by saying that. This is what this is what the Quran is saying. But Mimi, he said, who says so? And this is the boyfriend of Fifi. So both of them, they have different religion. They don't have one religion because the God of Fifi, he have two hands. The God of Mimi, he don't. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? Fifi, <laughs> what's Muslim scholars? Fifi, <laughs> can you bring me better than Fifi with high school driving license? Allah mentioned Azza wa Jal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in Surah Al-Rahman 
ويبقى وجه ربك الله عز وجل and this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters recite the Quran get your best knowledge from the Quran don't devote five minutes a day ten minutes a day to the Quran no devote more an hour an hour and a half to recite the Quran and to learn what it says at the same time now in the Quran Surah Al-Rahman Allah Azza wa Jal says وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal the same verse maybe in the video with, the, with, the, with David Wood he refuted by saying the word there it says Kurd does not mean everything this guy here is quoting the same verse saying yes Allah have a face and here Allah Azza wa Jal referring to himself by saying that his face will remain which means Allah Azza wa Jal uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala will not perish he is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an ending Azza wa Jal he's the creator of the all uh, uh, what you there is no it doesn't land the creator yeah you see and what you do not see and he's not created and he does not die and he does not have an ending subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah described in the Quran that he has a face Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis Satan and he told him what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands so this is what Allah described himself Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment Allah Azza wa Jal would uplift and show his leg I love the leg of Allah I have something for legs Allah will show his leg meaning hijab he said who said so which one of you is saying the truth Fifi and this guy is saying Allah have hands Allah have legs Allah is going to do striptease he will show his leg uh, Mimi said, who said so? Take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? <laughs> to the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear, speak salah. Just, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? Which one scholar? Which Muslim scholars? There is no Muslim scholar says that. Mimi, he confirmed that. That's it. Mimi, he is the best. Forget about the rest. And they are called to prostrate, and everyone prostrates except the hypocrites. All the believers will prostrate, and the hypocrites will try to prostrate, and their back goes one. Uh, my back is hurt, Mina. You know? The hypocrite and the hypocrite, supposedly. Allah have a leg. So, anyway, you can watch the video. You can see the video name How Does Allah Look Like? Go watch it and die laughing at the lies of those Abdul. I'm going to open my sky for the Muhammadan. Only the Muhammadan can call me, please. And I will take one call, so choose the best of you. <clears throat> choose the best of you. Don't give me 10 people. Let us go. One Abdul, the best of you. It, if it's if it's if Mimi is life, if uh, Fifi is life, you are welcome. More than welcome. I want Mimi and Fifi debate each other about the lies they said, because one of them is lying. They can't be both of them telling the truth. One is saying Allah have hands, have foot, have legs, and one is saying who said so. All right, my Skype is open. <clears throat> Who wanna call me? Text me please, and I will call you back. No, we have a Muslim here, we missed his call. Let us call him. Give me, give me, a, you know, we, we we say a Muslim, we got this, we got this, a kid. 
coward. With your baby. Coward, stupid. This guy, he don't believe in anything except his own understanding for Islam. See, every Muslim, by the way, have his own religion. It's not one religion. It's not. This guy, he believe that Ibn Kathir is a donkey, Mimi is a donkey, Fifi is a donkey, the companion is donkeys, the hadith is written by donkeys, he is the only horse. No waste my time. Any Muslim? <clears throat> All right. Okay, we have a Muslim calling me ignorant. <clears throat> That's a good one. I like it when a Muslim calls me ignorant. Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. You, you said I am ignorant and you are going to expose me. Go ahead. Yeah, so what was your first point? The first point is Mimi Hijab, he says Allah has nobody part. Fifi, he said Allah has part. Which one of them is telling the truth? What do you think? Uh, no, Muhammad Hijab, what he said was knows that uh, Allah has nobody pass. Yeah? Yeah. What, what did you, do you remember what the Lord said? Yes, he said Allah has body parts. The question is very simple. Even Mimi, he repeated. He said that yes, David, he yes, says, okay. Allah has body part and okay. we should take it literally. Yeah, okay, you know, we, so the yeah, question is, do yeah, Allah have body part? My friend, do Allah have body part? Either you say, you say yes or no. Mimi Hijab, he said, who said so? We shouldn't take a literally, that's why... My, no my problem, so it's, it's not literally, so it's what? It's metaphorically, so Allah have no body part, correct? No metaphorically, but we can understand it. Okay, let me ask you a question, all right? No, no, you just say it. Why well, don't ask me a question? I mean, why you need to answer the question by a question? You yes, said, you said, don't take it literally. When you, when you say, don't take it literally, do Allah have hand literally or not? Of course, of course Allah has a hand, but so, we But you just say, but you just say, but you just said lying about what Mimi Hijab saying, that he said, don't take it literally. But because literally, that means Allah have hands, literally. This is what David was saying. Allah have body parts. And Mimi Hijab, no. he says, who said so? Do, do, do you say, are you saying that Muhammad Hijab doesn't accept the fact that Allah has a hand in that? Yes, he said, who said so? The question was, let me play the question for you again. Maybe, 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 maybe you are deaf. Maybe you are deaf. Hold on, hold on. I will play the question for you again. Listen to it and you tell me what he said. Here we go. He speaks of Salah, does not Shut up. Wait, wait, wait. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? See? Muslim scholars, they say we should take this as literally that Allah has body part. Okay, let me tell you. Uh -huh. First of all, you have provided any Muslim scholar, yeah? Farid doesn't claim to be a Muslim scholar or anything. So, okay, so I want you to say, I want you to say that Farid is a liar, he's a donkey. He claimed that he knew, but he is not presenting Islam. Say it, go ahead. So it's not that, but he's so what do you mean? Scholar. If a guy his name is Fifi, he is trying to refute people about what Islam, and then yet you agree that Fifi is lying. Why Fifi is lying? So okay, that, okay. What about this sheikh here? What about this sheikh? This big sheikh with the with the beard? Is he lying too? He just said Allah have hands, Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin, Allah have fingers, Allah have a face. Hey, so is he lying? I accept that Allah has a hand, but we can understand it. Yeah. Ah, we can. I'm not asking you to understand it or not. You see, you stupid. You just, you just get Mimi Hijab busted because Mimi Hijab. He said that who said so? Who said that Allah had body part? But now you, agree, you admitted that Mimi Hijab is lying and he is not telling the truth. You accept that Allah had hands, but you can't understand his hand. Yeah, because his hand is hard to understand. <laughs> By the way, why Allah hands? Why Allah hands? Both of them are in the right side. Do you have an idea? We can we can explain it. Can you explain the Holy Spirit? No, you, uh, yeah, I can. It's a spirit, spirit of God. A spirit. I, yeah. What it is can spirit? Be. spirit is, uh, this is a good question. When the, when the Muslim they ask Muhammad, hold on, hold on, hold on. When the Muslim when the Muslims ask Muhammad, what is the spirit? Do you know what Allah no, said? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. Hold on, hold on. When they ask Muhammad about the spirit, what your prophet answer? 
Yok ya sana gar oldu Allah ne olsa ben olayım. Thank you. So why you are asking me? So look at you. Look at you how stupid you are. You are saying to me nobody knows what the spirit, but you want the question to tell you. I know let me answer. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. I know what the spirit Allah do not know. The spirit of God is the power of God. Is the ability of life. Is the power of life. Is the existence of God. For God, if he cannot give, if he is not a spirit, God is not alive. So listen, your God could not answer it. Your God, he said to Muhammad, tell them all the Allah knows. Is that an answer? Are you there? Okay, so listen, listen. Don't, don't, change, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I just answer you. Answer you. The spirit of God is the existence of God as a spirit everywhere. He exists everywhere with his knowledge, with his ability in, in in his person as a spirit. I answer you. Now you just said to me that no Muslim knows what the spirit means. So how you believe that the ruh is the ruh al Qudus is Jibreel? You just said to me. We do not know what is the spirit is. So how you made to breathe an angel when he is supposedly? Hey, huh? hey, I didn't say that we don't know what a spirit is, but no, you did. No, you no, you did. You you just said you just said only Allah knows what is the spirit, and now you are saying to me we did not say we do not know. Allah knows what, what you know how it is explained empirically. You know. No, no, no. Listen, listen. You just said nobody knows what the spirit is, save Allah. And now you are saying to me, I did not say I do not know. I don't know how how it works. You know how I don't know empirical. I don't have any evidence how it can be explained. Okay, so you and Allah do not know both of you. Because if no, Allah, no, let me let me let me make it, let me make it simple. If somebody came to Allah and this is the Almighty God, and they ask him, okay, Allah, what is the spirit? I mean, how stupid the answer is. Imagine you are calling me now. Hold on, imagine you are calling me. Oh, shut up, shut up. Let me talk, please. Let me talk. We can talk in the same time. I will give you. I will give you time. I will. I will give you time. To, I will give you time to answer. Stop being a, a kid. Listen. If you call me and you ask me, Christian Prince. What is the spirit? And then I say to you, I come back next week, next week, and say, only Christian prince know. But you are a Christian prince, and this is what happened with Allah. They came to Muhammad asking him to ask Allah what is the spirit. So Allah, he answered, only Allah knows. How stupid yes. that is! Why, why, why is stupid, isn't it? Because they are asking him, they are asking Allah, what is the spirit, Muhammad? And then Allah, he yeah. says to him, only Allah knows. So who is he? Is he Allah or he is someone else? Huh? If the, if the people asking Allah through Muhammad, what is the spirit? Yeah. How in the world Allah he answers says yeah. Allah only Allah knows. Okay, Allah said to Muhammad, mm. say to them that only Allah knows about it. Do you understand it? Yeah, I understand it. No problem. But he, but the question is, what is the spirit? So what 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 kind of an answer? Okay, so I go to that uh, the doctor. He's an eye doctor, and I say to him, what is the blue water? And the doctor he says to me, only doctor know. But he is the doctor. I'm asking. So your God is a stupid God, Muhammad. He cannot answer. So he made an answer saying nothing, saying I only Allah knows. But so what what's, what does mean that this, this verse is fabricated? Because if Allah is the one who answer, there is no way he will say only Allah knows. Okay, let me ask you something. Ask me something. Yeah? Ask me something. Go ahead. Did God explain everything? Or did Jesus explain My, everything? Okay, so how you Muslim you say to us, God cannot be three suddenly, and now this one is very hard to explain. I mean a spirit. I'm not asking you about how God can have a foot, how God can have two hands, how his hands in the two right side, how why he have five fingers in every hand, why he have a why he have a face, why have why he have an ass, why he is carried by eight angels. I'm not asking any question. I'm asking what is ruh. Very simple. So suddenly it's okay not to answer such a simple question, but when we go deep into serious questions, suddenly you Muslim you say how God can be three and one at the same time. Okay. Let me ask you, when you say that God cannot be three, uh, hold on, when you say Muslims, you say that God cannot be three and one in a, hold on, hold on, let me say the question. When, when you Muslim, you say God cannot be three and one in the same time. Are you questioning the ability of God or questioning how God can be God? No, look, God has some certain uh, attributes and it can't be other than this attribute. Okay, 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 okay. I want to ask you about the attribute. We just mentioned that Allah have yes. hands. Okay, we just mentioned that Allah have hands. So because Allah have hands, He cannot be spirit, correct? What? Allah have hands. I, no, you are saying that Allah is a physical entity. 
You are the one who said that. You, you, you admitted, you said, Allah have hands. Didn't you say, Allah have hands? Allah have a hand that doesn't have anything to do with his with being physical or no. Uh -huh. How come they have, have five fingers? What do you mean physical or no? Just shut up. Just go, go, go. Get me, get me somebody. Get me somebody as an adult. Can we get an adult? Can we get an, can we get an adult? When you call me, you said, well, Allah have hand, yes, but we cannot explain them. And now you are trying to change your mind. And you said that when Fifi said that Allah have two hands, literally, he is not presenting Islam. And then now you agree with, with Fifi. Why people lie? Why people, they cannot be honest? Let us say, take another Muslim, one more Muslim call. Text me, please, if you are a Muslim, you'd like me to call you. <clears throat> All right. Hmm, you hang up. Unavailable. Call your Muslim, please. We have a Muslim. Trying to call. Let us see this one. <coughs> not answering, not working. Okay, try another one. Let us see. Yeah, this is the only one we have. So, you see, guys, the hypocrisy of this religion. Do you see? Fifi, he says, Allah have hands literally. Mimi, he says, who said so? The Sheikh says, all of them, I can show you right now. Tons. Hello? 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 Who's this guy? Yes, you are live on air. Who is talking? He hang up. Let us call this guy again. Hello? Hello? Yes, you are live on air. What do you want to say? Turn off your camera, Hello? please. Turn off your camera. Yes, what do you want to say? Go ahead. Hello? Hello, hello. You want to spend the day saying hello? Yes. Okay, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Hello. Why are you... Why are you spreading misinformation about Islam? Okay, no problem. Correct me, my friend. Go ahead. You are the one who will correct me, and um, I cannot wait for you to correct me. Go ahead. The 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 scholar they say Allah have hands, Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin, and Allah have five fingers. What do you say? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? The scholars they say Allah have hands, Allah have five fingers, Allah have foot, Allah have a shin, Allah have a face, Allah have two hands in the right side. What do you say? And this is all in the Quran and the Hadith. What do you say? Do you accept Allah with the two hands or one hand? What do you think? Allah have two hands or one hands? Where, where in the Quran says Allah has hands? Uh -huh. Well, here we go. This is the verse in the front of you. There's a big sheikh. His name is Fifi. You know? The verse in the front of you. Do you see it? It says, وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودِ اللَّهِ مَغْلُولَ غُلَّتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ Hey, we got a person in front of you. So what we would do? And this guy, his name is Fifi Token. You know, Fifi is very famous. He's very good in belly dancing. You do belly dancing with uh, Mimi, uh, Mimi Hijab. In Mimi Hijab, he says, Allah have no part. Uh, she say, Allah have body part. What do you think? Accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to, both his hands are extended. Subhan. Both. Both. What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that, that you know, that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse. So, so, do you want to accept what the Sunni say? Hey, this is the Sheikh Fifi. 
She is saying that Allah have two hands. Do you accept that or no? Do you think this guy is lying? No, no. You don't accept it? I don't accept it. So he's a liar, you think, right? Uh, yes. Should we expose him, brother? I only accept what is in the Quran. Okay, but he was reading the Quran too. You see, he's reading the Quran. Should we accept him, me and you? Let us open me and you a channel. It says, uh, 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 respond to Fifi the liar. You as a Muslim and me as a Hindu. What do you think? I don't know. Why well, you don't know? Make decision. We can do it now. We can open it, channel. We invite all the uh, uh, Muhammadan from your side and your Facebook. Allahu Akbar. We do takbir and we start like insulting them and intimidate them, you know, brother, practicing Islam. Kabij? Do you like the idea? Because uh. this guy is lying, brother. Why you don't accept that Allah has hands? Is that, is that a problem for you? Yes. Why it's a problem? Because Allah is God. Uh huh. And it is not fit for a God to have to be limited by human qualities like hands, legs, it's wonderful. Et but maybe his hand is like an octopus, you never know, maybe it's so big. But uh, so it's not fit for God. So you Muslim, you decide what is fit for God, what is not fit? If Allah healed no, himself, if, if Allah, if Allah, he said, I have two hands. You Muslim, you say to Allah, you, it's not fit for you to have hands. So what we would do? Should, should we do, go to Thailand and do surgery, like a plastic surgery, breast surgery, like Muhammad? You know, you know that Allah is not fit for a prophet to go to heaven without plastic surgery too. What do you think about this? Allah, he did the plastic surgery for the prophet before he took him to heaven. Did you hear the story in the hadith? I don't, I don't believe in any hadith. Oh, you don't believe in the hadith? Do you believe in any Quran? Yes. Well, the verse in the front of us saying that, that the hands of Allah is open and he spent good money. So do you accept the Quran or not? It is only a metaphor. It's a metaphor. So this guy is lying to us. Thank you. Thank you for going us, my friend. It's a metaphor, guys. Fifi is lying. The Sheikh are lying. The only one is saying the truth is this boy from Pakistan. May Allah bless you and give you all the curry you want for your lunch. Thank you very much. This is religion. This is religion. Each one of them, he have different answer. But what make it more funny that Fifi is debating other Muslim who is a Shia to prove to him that we have God who have hands. But in the same time, Mimi is debating a Christian saying to him who says so. That make it more interesting. Shall we have a debate? It's called Mimi versus Fifi. Billy dancing time. Who lie more? Why we cannot do it? As long Fifi he is willing to make Fifi response. How come Fifi respond did not make Fifi response to Mimi, who says we should not take that literally? Okay, speak to Salah. Does he, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Allah has parts. He says Muslim scholars say we should take this literally. Which Muslim scholars? Which Muslim scholars? I love it. I love it. I love it. Which Muslim scholars? Like which one? You which one? Cute. Oh, uh, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept <laughs> this, that that you know that Allah has two hands. I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. You can't accuse us of shirk for following the Quran, for accepting what we find in the Quran. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala would put. We'll put words like these in the like this in the Quran, and then we accept them, and then we will be punished uh, forever in hellfire for accepting what we find in the Quran. This is this is ridiculous, ridiculous. Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab, he said so. So the Quran says so. You idiot.
Allah said so. Muhammad said so. And Prophet Kifi said so too. Very, very strange. All right. Anyway, guys, to make it simple for you to download the video, I'm going to stop here. Download the video. We will not keep it here for long. And subscribe to those who sub uh, to load, load my videos because as you know, we don't keep my videos. So you can watch them later or download them later. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And as you see, we Christians, we believe that God can be in three person, yet he is one because God is almighty. If God cannot be three and one in the same time, because it, it, according to your logic, this is impossible, then you are saying that there is something impossible for God to do or to be. And that against the term and the understanding of what God is, God is a miracle. God is almighty. So if we call him almighty, but yet he is not almighty, for he cannot be three and one, for that is impossible according to your thinking, that means God cannot be God. My God can be three and one at the same time, for he is almighty God. Your God cannot. Your God cannot be a spirit, but he have two hands. And we heard the Muslim, he says, it's not fit for Allah to have hands, but this is what the Islam teach. It's not fit for Allah to have legs, but this is what Islam teach. It's not fit for Islam to believe that Allah have five fingers, but this is what Islam teach. Muslims, they are trying to design a new Allah, fit for them. We Christians, we believe in Almighty God. You believe in someone, it's not fit for him. You are trying to design your own God in your own way. You are rebelling even against your God teaching. You don't want to be to believe that Allah have hands when the Quran and the Hadith say so. And we heard the Sheikh saying that. And we heard even Fifi, peace upon her, saying that too. What do you want more? Download the video as soon as it is ready. It takes some time for YouTube to process it. As long as it's ready, please download, load it everywhere. Show everybody how we get them busted. This is your humble brother, Christian Prince. Humbly, I pray to the Lord to guide us and to be with us. For he is the almighty God. He can be with us as a spirit. He said, the Lord, he said, every two of you mention my name. I will be between them. He is here with us. For he is almighty God. Allah cannot do that. Allah, in order to come down to hear your prayer, Muhammad, he said, that Allah have to come down every third part of the night. And he asked who is going who is going to pray for me? Who is praying for me? So I will answer him. He have to come down every third part of the night, which means the earth is a flat. Our God do not need to come down to hear us. Every two of you mention my name. I will be between you. Why? For we have the Almighty God. The perfection of God, that He is a spirit, so He can be everywhere. That He is coming to us as a man, so He can be seen without being us being destroyed. For He is the Father, yet He loves us, and He calls us children. Why dear God need to come down every night asking who is praying for me? Go on inside his creation, but the Muslim refused to believe that Allah go inside his creation. But as you see Muhammad saying it clearly, Allah will go down, descend down to the lowest heaven. When one third later of part of the night, Allah going inside heaven, seven heavens, going down, going down, going down. And then he asks you, who is praying for me? Sorry, my reception in the seven heaven is not good. I'm using at and Change your internet, you idiot. Your God is not almighty. My God, he can hear me without coming down. When Jesus, he came down to earth, so he can show us the glory of God in a form of man, yet nothing will change. He can walk in the water. He can recover people from death. He can resurrect you. He can heal you. He can make the blind see. He can forgive your sin, and he can over death by death. The Muslims, they say, how God can be God and he die? Ignorance, stupidity. 
Jesus says before Abraham, I am, which means the existence of the physical flesh which he's born with have nothing to do with God's existence. God is always alive. They kill the flesh, which is Jesus, the man. We worship God in the flesh of Jesus. We don't worship a man. God is born in the flesh of a man, but not the man became God. Before Abraham I am, which means his existence have nothing to do with the day he was born. The Muslim will say to you, okay, where was Jesus, the Trinity, before he was born? Idiot, you do not know. Jesus said clearly, I was exist from before Abraham. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. I am the beginning, I am the end. I am the truth, I am the light and the resurrection. I am the door. And yet they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. This is how God Almighty presents himself. He can be visible when he wants, for he is God Almighty as a man. He can be as a spirit. He can be invisible. Your God cannot be any of those. Your God is a fiction. You don't even know what the word Allah means, for it is a theft from other culture. Thank you all for being here. This is your brother Christian Prince serving you. Remember, you can subscribe to our channel in Patreon without making donation. Our service is for free. For free you took, for free you give, the Lord said. We serve you. We serve the poor before the rich. We serve those who do not donate before those who donate. We are here for all of you. Subscribe there so you can be informed when we go live on air. And we thank those who support us for sure. For may the Lord bless them. For the Lord he always say clearly, from their fruits you shall know them. From their fruits. And the fruits of the Lord, the Messiah, is beyond good deeds or righteousness is holy and the fruit of Muhammad is disgusting and the fruit of the fiction God Allah is disgusting bring me someone better name than Christ to follow and I will no fruit better than his fruit no name better than his name no quality no one and the funny the Muslim they still believe that Jesus right now as we speak he is living in heaven Yes, my friend, even the stupid Muhammad, he could not deny with the faith of shaitan trying to deceive us that Jesus is the living, walking, talking word of God. He is God. Even the Quran say clearly that Jesus, the Messiah, is the word of God. And even Muhammad, he gave him a name. He says, Karimatullah wa ruhahu. He is the word of God and the spirit of Allah. And yet, you are going to say to me, you don't want to follow him? You must then follow the dead Muhammad and you don't follow the living Jesus? When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. Feel free to subscribe to our channels and support those who download my videos. Subscribe to them then because they are the one who will provide you with the videos after we delete them. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. See you soon.